hazardous region detected. All right, welcome back, everybody. How we doing, Madness? I see you there. I don't see you in, in my chat stream. Hold on. Why are we not getting chat? I see you in my YouTube stream, but not my chat stream. Interesting. All right, hopefully that sorts itself out. Danger. Hazardous region detected. Okay, so uh, let's get out of this external view here. And I have put together quite the flotilla here. As you can see, they're all, <laughs> uh, they're, they're being X4 pilots. You know, they're just, they're not in any sort of, you know, formation or anything else like that. But, uh, but yeah, okay. Oh, the stream, uh, stream chat is working now. You're fine, uh, Madness? Good, good, good. Glad to see you here. And we have some exciting things to do today. I will show you, first of all, what we have done, what I have done since the last live stream. I am in Tharkas Cascade, uh, Roman numerals escape me. Was that 15? Yeah, 15. And I've basically cleared this out, but they Danger. keep they keep on they keep on rebuilding and which is fine which is expected but i want to really push them back right i want to push them back and i want to take care of in the stream i want to take care of at least their ability to make more ships and it looks like we have a cluster of k's and ooh, an i and another K and another K. So we're going to have to come in here and be very, very uh, careful <laughs> in our strategy, you know. But I'd like to take out this extra large, large facility here for making ships. And I'll also like to take out this one. And I did. There's nothing. There's not too much in here. I don't know if they rebuilt anything because I only have this one lonely satellite in here. And... It's not really telling Major. me much. Hazardous region detected. I did clear out Matrix 598, and they don't seem to be coming back in here and rebuilding. And I was hoping that... Hoping that either the Argon, which controlled this sector, or the Xyrath would come in here and start building, but it does not look like it. There's some builders here, which is odd, right? And they're they're just kind of hanging out here, but they're not they're not like and they're Zyrath, and they're not really building anything. I would hope like they would come in here and start building, but I guess not. And when I was hoping that, I was hoping they would also come in here and start building too. And taking out Matrix Five Nine Eight, I was thinking maybe that would give them a buffer, and then they would start building in here. But that didn't pan out. But as you can see, we have white borders Danger. here. Hazardous region detected. So this is like I just totally wiped them out here, so they don't control this. So they don't. So no one, no one controls this. No, no governing faction here. And I'd like to do the same for at least Family Zin. And I did it for Tharkas Cascade, although they look like they're rebuilding in here. So I'm going to take this one out real quick. This station, it does look like we have... Who's, who's here? So the Terrans are trying to make a... Uh, it's another Asgard. The Terrans are trying to make a little, uh, little bit of an inroad here as well. Which I appreciate them guarding these gates because... You know... Um, hopefully that will prevent anything from rebuilding in here too quickly. So, okay, 
but that's the plan and I have everything else is going fine yeah it's a lot of red Danger. feral hey how you doing feral by the way welcome aboard and and Zyreth are not at war with the Argons are at war with the Argons which might be hampering. Yeah, I was thinking that same that same thing too, but I did. So I did clear out. Remember in the I think it was last stream or stream before that, flame family newt was an issue. As you can see, they're xenon are trying to build in here again. Let's. Uh, I don't know why you guys aren't taking that out. I'm gonna have them coordinate attack, and I have figured out by the way coordinating attack is the best way to do it as long as there's no uh, no supports like no k's or i's in the area so let's coordinate attack these guys should coordinate attack now with everybody and just take this out because i don't want them rebuilding in here either Danger. but yeah so they rebuilt here is what i was thinking it. Oh wow, really? So you can have so you you found out that you can have a again I'm not gonna call them what they're actually named. <laughs> I'm gonna call them the kayaks. You can have a kayak installation and a hive in the same sector. Oh wow, you lost a lot of miners. Yeah. And with that, with you saying that, that reminds me too, and here in my main sector here, Grand Exchange three. There's there's something here that I'd like to take out eventually with the with the kayaks, but they keep they you know they don't really they're not really taking any out out any miners or anything else like that because I do have a little bit of protection here, but as you can see too we have the Talati are just out here in force so they're they're probably taking care of a lot of Danger. it as well. Hazardous region detected. Um. So yeah. But. I have, as I was saying here, I don't know if you saw it, Farrell. Oh, thank you, Cuddle Buff. I appreciate it. And welcome, by the way. I appreciate it. Yeah, I try to I try to make it interesting. <laughs> I try to make it interesting, but uh, you know, you you do what you can. Um uh, so what was it gonna do? Yeah, so so everything else is fine. The, the other thing I was going to mention too is that this this is my main concern right now. But the other hot points here, like faulty logic, I think the Paranid have this pretty much pretty well uh, taken care of. So once I get done with the other hazardous region detected. Xenon th that I'm gonna do up there will probably come down here and take care of these as well But for the most part, I think we're fine for just leaving them for now. I Did see this before the stream true sight is usually controlled by the holy order but you can see Antigone has actually come in here and uh, taken over the place. So that is, I found that pretty interesting. So the Antigone are actually, nope, didn't want to do that. The Antigone are actually winning the war, I would say. Yeah, so Antigone, it's contested. But, uh, yeah, it's interesting. I would, I, I'd be interested to see if they actually take over this. Because now the Holy Order are sandwiched in between the these guys here. Which are I, name escapes me, Danger. God Realm of the Paranid, which they're at war with as well. So, okay. So without further ado, and there was a lot of further ado, I'm gonna start taking care of this, and then we're gonna move up. We're gonna move up here and start trying to take care of this little issue here. Hopefully, when I when I when I start taking out that station, some of that will move. And try to to defend but I highly doubt it I actually also right before we move on um, I did want to show you this I put some mods on here on my main ship and I'm itching itching to try them out so I have a chassis mod 
an enhanced quality one and it is doing it so it's gonna be faster and more ship haul and everything else like that we also have the main battery that main bzzz, laser uh, I did a cooling mod on here and it there was another cooling mod that I could have put on there but it was making it it was doing like negative effects on it too so I put this cooling mod which is the basic cooling mod the other cooling mod was like oh yeah we'll cool it down to like 50% of the time but it'll it'll chunk out 36 percent of the damage and i was like no i'm not going to do that so i did the the basic one which 16 percent not too shabby and i also have the travel engines because this is it takes forever for the travel engines to start so i have it down uh, 17 percent less time okay All right let's prepare by bye 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 uh, let's recall, not recall, let's remove all orders. So we'll clear out any orders you have. Why are we not... Danger. Hazardous region detected. All right, let's clear out. I want to clear out this one too. Why can't I clear out this? All right, we'll just put it... Um, what's the... Hold position. There we go. Hold position. Confirm. And I don't need you to attack anything. Oh, we have a uh, yeah, our first target. Let's go. Let's go get this guy. And excuse me, sir. I would like to take command of the ship. We are in command. All right. So they are firing at him. That's good. Oh, by the way, I put a paint mod on here too, so I know which one is the capital ship. My my ship. Awaiting orders. Now you took it out before I can get to him, didn't you? Didn't you? You couldn't wait. You couldn't wait for me to fire at him. You know when I want you to do things, they don't. These pilots. These pilots. I gotta. I'm gonna fire a few of them. Okay. Danger. Hazardous region detected. So let's go ahead and take this out real quick. It shouldn't be. Shouldn't be too too hard. Shan't shan't be too too hard. By the way, guys. Uh like and like the video it helps it get to more more people as well more viewers and into whatnot oh, you are very close sir i'm just gonna kind of go under you here you are very close you are in my personal space So Feral, how is, uh, Feral, Feral, uh, I can talk. Feral, how's your playthrough going, by the way? And are you, uh, what were you playing as? You were playing as the Talati, right? Okay, Danger. so Hazardous region let's see how long it takes the travel engines to get spooled up here. Let's see if it takes... A little bit less time. Hopefully. And by the way, how's the sound, guys? Let me know how the sound is as well. Because uh, I keep on fiddling with the... <laughs> I keep on fiddling with the... With the settings, like, between streams. And I'm like, I, yeah, I really shouldn't because nobody's complaining about it. But... Uh, But then I fiddle with it. I'm like, well, just a little, little, a little adjustment's not going to hurt anybody. Oh, and I'm trying to get the achievement too, the Steam achievement for taking out turrets. I think it's a hundred, and I'm up to like, like eighty or something like Danger. that. Danger, hazardous region detected. So I'm going to try to take out a lot of the turrets on this station as well. Yeah, by the way, the Asgard has become my absolute... Oop. Slower down, buddy. Slower down. We are very much in the range of their turrets. Back her up. Okay. 
It should be fine. I don't think they're firing at us, but yeah, that was cl that was kind of close. I was getting in close there. All right, so let's start taking out some of their turrets that we can, like this one here. Danger. And another and another reason I want to do this, take out the turrets, is because my fleet will kind of get in so it'll make it a little bit safer for them to take out this there we go and i might as well push in a a beam here as well while we're waiting okay cool so that should have taken out we're down to 65 percent already that's great So yeah, this, this shouldn't take too, too long to take out this station. Awaiting orders. And usually the Asgard, or not the Asgard, the Xenon station are very Awaiting much, um, are, it, it takes a while to take them out. So I don't think this one was fully built though, so, which is fine as well. Awaiting orders. Yeah, that cooldown for my main weapon, that's, that's a lot quicker actually, and it's almost to the point where we're going to use it again. Awaiting orders. Why am I not taking out that? What am I doing here? The impulse turret. I should be taking it out quite easily. Awaiting orders. Okay. That is NOB. Hold on. I think I know why she keeps on saying that. Just getting to the point, Feral of being able to afford an XL. Nice. That is a very cool point as well. Like, and then, you know, usually when I get to that point, I, I buy the XL and then, and then immediately lose it. Yeah. So it's this guy here. So let's have them instead attack with commander like the rest. I did this because I was thinking I want somebody near me, but if they're going to keep on saying that, then I, I don't want it. I don't want that to, uh, to do that. Oh, you were boarding some Asgards and Xenon sectors. Nice. Building your second wharf. Wow. That's you really playing it. <clears throat> you're that's you're a lot further than I am usually I think okay Danger. Hazardous region detected. so I'm not really sure why it's not taking out this turret because it's Joining squad. because it's uh it's saying that it's in in firing range or not firing range but firing oh I know why because I'm a derp I think the is 7.9 is the range for these I think I thought I think I thought I should be close enough now there it goes okay never mind striking all right uh, my main weapon should be good to go let's hit it with that in the main section here there we go we are down to 26%. Nice. Danger. I think this Hazard is the fastest region. I've ever taken out one of these guys. One of these uh, stations. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Striking. Yeah, that's the one I wanted. Let's see here. Is any? It's, oh, it's just a small little, small little pea station. No wonder it's going by quick. <laughs> no wonder it's. I'm taking it out so quick. It's just a. It's just a few bits. Like I was looking at it like from this from this angle. I'm thinking, well, it's just behind that, but it isn't. It's just that. That's it. Okay. Well, now I understand. Striking. So I'm not going to really worry about taking up the turrets. 
That's too funny. Danger. Hazardous region too funny. detected. Explosion imminent. Okay, so that should get that bit. All right, so now I just have this little bit over here, and it, we should be done with the turrets as well. I'm not going to worry about it. Oops. Wrong. Baton. You build them or steal them? Yeah, you know what? I've, I've, I was thinking about, um, Striking. trying to get my pirating skills a little bit better. Cause that's one thing that I don't do all too often is pirate. And I think that I kind of want to really perfect that. That's like the next thing. But I think my next playthrough is going to be, I'm going to do uh, human or Terran, I should say. Is, am I mistake? Can I fire through that or not? Or do I have to get a new perspective on that? So let's get, let's kind of go around here. Try to do it from above. Cause I don't know when when it's when it's in when it's like this when it's destroyed you can't fire through it right no matter what if I'm not mistaken oh this music is something isn't it rocking out head bopping danger. Hazardous region detected. Alright, you know what I'm gonna do? Cause this is this is this is kinda stupid. Let's just go ahead and have these guys finish it. And the way I do that, so this is the pattern I've been doing. So I'll get to the station down far enough, and then I will teleport out. Entering system. Grand exchange. And then and then have them just attack it and finish it off. And that usually works a little bit better. Plus, I'm in my home station here, so I can go to my personal office, which I have the radio off. It doesn't have that wild music, so it's kind of calming as well. A little zen going on here. And then I can do this. Put on the SATA, and off they go. And there we go. Awaiting orders. And now I can go back. Of course, you gotta have Entering the teleport. System. Piracy is more of an early, early game activity. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good points. So, damaged, uh, destroyed modules block, block the fire. Yeah, I was thinking that. Which is really, I mean, you know, you're in a capital ship like this that doesn't, uh, it doesn't move all that well. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a little bit of an issue. Uh, what do we have here? I think he should be able to take care of that. Yeah. And it's just a, it's just a K. You know, I'm kind of curious. Asgard. What? It has a little bit of damage on him. But it is Nazgard, so he's probably gonna have to get detected. probably gonna gonna have to get in front of him for his main weapons to to hit. But he's taking care of the support, so Yeah, he should be fine. He should be fine. Well his shields are going down. You know what? Let's go help him. Okay. Let's go help him real quick. Because I'd like him to stay there and... Help guard that. So 
So hopefully he'll stay there. Because I don't know. I mean, I know this sector over here then leads to this sector, which is going to be, uh, you know, they have, they have resources there. But let's just take this guy out, and then we're going to go up into Family Zen, I think it is. I'm coming for you, Mr. K. I'm coming for you. And I'm just going to leave my fleet back there because I really don't care. Yeah, I mean, he's taking care of me. He'd probably be all right, but let's just help him out. Let's just help him out real quick. Get into, get into the firing range here. And we should be able to hit him right now, actually. And just whip his, whip his, whip his little xenon butt. There you go, sir. Have a little bit of that. <laughs> I love this ship. Oh my goodness, it's the best. Okay. I should be collecting all this stuff, man. Oh, hey, hello. What's going on here? Coming from behind. Okay. All right, you guys should be able to take care of him. He snuck up on me. Man, the Xenon are getting clever. Well, they're getting aggressive. I wouldn't say clever. Aggressive would probably be better. <laughs> Turn on the travel drive while we're turning. Hopefully that spools up by the time we are Danger. turned around. Detected. So what do you guys think, right? So what, what else would you guys do at this particular point in the game? Like, what would you actually do? Like, I'm looking for, like, suggestions on maybe should I... Oops, travel drive is a little bit too soon. Should I start taking out... Should I start taking sides with, for example the in in some of the in some of the wars on the factions like i was thinking about yeah there you go they, they took him out before i even got there but what i'm thinking about is for example the argon argon versus the uh who who are they at war with i forget but anyways like taking it taking aside oh you know what i can find out this way yeah so the it's like Start taking sides with the Argon versus the Holy Order, or Split versus the Argon. Like, I almost want to do this one just to find out what happens. Because I'm really good friends with the Zyrath right now. So, and I've never went against the, the Argon. So I'm thinking maybe that, after I hit the... Uh, after I hit the, the Xenon and push them back have you guys attack that please jump gate family zin k yeah these guys are getting they're, they're pushing in these k's and it's just it's kind of annoying but that's all right we'll take care of them but yeah so what do you guys want to see like what uh what other Danger. options are here because we're we're pretty late game and we're also like you know we make so much money Right, we make so many credits right now, like we don't have to spend credits on making ships because we make them ourselves. Plus I would like to see like maybe one thing I was thinking about doing is is in some way like move into these sectors and take them over both financially and by taking them over with with force as well 
Ooh, it's coming. Is it coming towards me as well? That's weird. It's going negative. Like it's going away from me. Yeah, I think it is. I think it's. I think it's travel drivers. It's going. Danger. Hazardous region detected. Yeah. So this is like late game. So we have. What I'm saying is we have so many options. Not really sure why my chat is not working for me again. All right. Um, hate going to war against all the factions. Yeah. I was I was thinking that myself in a way. Uh, Feral, like you don't want to piss the factions off. But again, my kind of goal for for this playthrough was not just it was domination. I so I kind of want to dominate. But the but the way to do it is that my first wave was going to be let's take care of the xenon threat I'm not we're re really worried about the kayaks Major. hazardous region detected and then we're gonna start i would i wanted to start eating away at some of the factions like my first thought would be like the vigor syndicate like this would be good but they're they're fairly central so you know i have a lot of assets going going in and out of their their sectors but it shouldn't be too big of an issue where are you going sir where are you going? Excuse me. Oh dear. We might be in a little bit, a little bit of heat here. Turn, man. Turn. Turn. Uh, that's what I get for not paying attention. <laughs> this guy got into my, got into his firing range for me, so he's starting to take down my shields. I do not like that, sir. Danger, hazardous region detected. Yeah, but he's he's not he's not really putting too much of a dent in me. And oops. explosion imminent. There we go. Orders. That was weird. So I have the resources to do like parent of a war storyline splits of a war. Yeah, that, that's another thing too. Is I can do follow some of the storylines. That would be kind of cool. Awaiting orders. All right. So I think this sector is fine for now. How are you doing over there? You're doing fine. Let's go in and take start taking this out. Let's go ahead and I'm going to go uh, the fastest way to do this, I think. Let's get into the sectors. They split up into two, which is convenient. That's just 1k there. This is the main fleet that I'm going to be a little worried about. Danger. Hazardous region. So I'd like to start going into the sector and seeing if I can't get them out of their... Of their... Of their little position there. So let's go ahead... I think in the let's just do this. Let's see. Let's see if this this Engage. works a little bit better for us. But I think maybe hmm, how to do this? We can start getting close to here, and they should come. So I could probably take these guys out and then come and take these guys out because they're kind of just hanging out here, and I don't think they really have moved. But as soon as we start taking these guys out, these guys should follow. So I think actually let's go let's go kind of here instead, I think. Autopilot. Autopilot. Engaged. And then kind of come up this way. Hopefully. Oops. Hopefully that will work on doing like a little bit of a end run around them. Yeah, I've never, I've never done the Earl King. I'm gonna. I, what storyline is that again? That's for the. Um, I forget how to get that. You, you told me, and I, I, I forget.
Yeah, the Zyrath are doing fairly well because I've been helping them out as well. So I mean, they're Danger. they're region detected. they're doing good. So I think if I wanted to go and side with the Zyrath, like they can be my partners in crime in a way. Like the Talati as well, because I'm like I am Talati. So it'll be like a three. <laughs> I was gonna say a three prong attack, but I was gonna. It's more probably like a three ring circus. Um, <laughs> but I can do like I can side with the Zyrath, the Talati, and it'll be me, and then we can go against the uh, go against the rest of the the map. Am I? What am I seeing out my front window here? What's that? Jump gate. Hold on. Autopilot disengaged. Am I? What am I seeing there? Is that something I, I missed? Oh, it's a deactivated. I I didn't even see that. It's like well hidden. Wow. Okay. And so it's inactive. Weird. Weird. Okay, let's get... I hate the autopilot when I'm in extra large ships. It really kind of is not great. So let's just do this. Let's do it manually. Especially approaching gates. It's horrible. <clears throat> so the Riptide Rakers, Avarice. Okay, yeah. I think I started that. I do have. I did help the one, the one guy when you go and uh, go into their sectors. Danger. Hazard help him get that new ship that he needed and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm kind of. Maybe we'll explore that, once we get into these sectors here. But yeah, I, th I I've started the Riptide storyline so. I remember, I think I went up as far as, what was it? Talking to that one guy. I forget what his name is. Entering system. Family, Zin. But he had that, that ship. And yeah, it was a whole thing. It's been a while. <laughs> Can you tell? I can't remember a damn thing. All right, oops. Let's go ahead and there's nothing to target here. I wish you could put like a some sort of target beacon here. I mean, you could put a what do they call those? Nav beacon, but let's just go do that. Autopilot engaged. Oh. Uh, hmm. Yeah, yeah, I did I did that. I did I did rescue that one Talati. But that's as far as I went. And the only reason I did that was because I was trying to do the Boron storyline when you're making friends with everybody. So I was running water to Riptide uh, breakers, tide break to tide break. So, yeah, you have to keep a close eye on these guys. Yeah, they're all bunched up now. I mean, I could probably go in there and just take them out, but it's going to be a little tricky because if they gang up on me, I can very well lose my ship. And I kind of want to avoid getting close to this at the moment before we take these guys out. After I take those guys out, this will be easy enough. By the way, before the end of the before the stream started, I was getting my my coffee. <laughs> I brewed a whole a whole like I have like a fourteen ounce, you know, cup brewing coffee coffee cup like single coffee cup 
I took it out of the brewing thing and it just, my, my hand stopped working and it just fell all over the floor. I'm like, oh shit, I gotta start the stream. <laughs> so yeah, that was my, my adventure like right before the stream started. It was kind of funny. It was kind of funny. You know, I could potentially... I could potentially have them try to take care of it, but I don't want to lose a ship now that I have mods on it. That's like one of my major concerns. With that said, let's do a savey wavy And uh, at least we can start from this point. Uh, yeah, so I don't know, uh, also I don't know how far to go with this playthrough, to be honest. So I think the next, the next live stream, I'm going to try to do it, that, that Riptide storyline, try to get the Earl King, but, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what's going on. Autopilot engaged. All right, I kind of want to, ooh, you know what I should do? Before I do this, autopilot disengaged. Let's do a little scan just to make sure that there's no other stations that we can run into in this area here. Mm, station here. There is a station there. And I've noticed that the xenon, in particular, they will build well off the elliptical here. So even though I have this advanced satellite here. It's not in range of this, this station. So that's another sneaky thing as well. Okay, so I think we should be good with just going where we are Auto here. Pilot engaged. And then we got some, what's it? These are probably mines. Who are you? Z You're a very brave Zyrath, sir. You are very brave. And I think you're just going to get... <laughs> you were, uh, past tense, you were very brave. Now you are dead. That's it. <laughs> That's too funny. Dude, there's another one. What are you guys doing? You are just throwing away resources. Well, I mean, you can come in here in a little bit. I'm going to try to clean this out for you guys so you have a little bit better time. You're you're done for, sir. You are done for. Oh, did he get past? He got, ooh, he got past. Not shab, not too shabby there, sir. Not too shabbalistic. Where did the other fleet go? Autopilot disengaged. I am only showing the small fleet here. Hmm. They have went off the reservation. Well, we're going to take it as we see it here, I think. Let's wait for these guys to kind of come up this way. Autopilot engaged. Yeah, you're just. You no, know, no. You, that's just. It's unfortunate, sir, but... What does the Branch 9 mean? It's weird. Um, you know, one thing I can do here... One thing I can do here is I have, in my Hithikvah's choice here, I have these Jaguars. By the way, these are stupid looking ships. <laughs> I built a bunch of them because I wanted to do some uh, satellite. So I, I put some satellites on these guys, but they're really stupid looking ships. Like if you look at them, can we get a view of it? I forget. 
probably get an ex external view. Oh, there they are. Holy sh... Holy moly. Well, good. <laughs> Let's take care of the eye first. Eye. Autopilot. Oh my Disabled. goodness. They... Must be on patrol. All right, well, let's, uh, let's go in. Let's, let's approach them and see who approaches us first. I think it's going to be the Ks. That's what happened in the last stream. I had, like, a... Uh, I had these guys in... in uh, I had a three-pack. I had two Ks, one I. And I was trying to concentrate on the eye, but then the K's came and tried to take me out. And then I took care of the eye. Look at another Zyrath. <laughs> oh, this is, uh, oh, I see. You know, I did not know that. I've never really explored up here. The, the Western Zyrath are that way, aren't they? That's what you guys are doing. Very stupidly, though. But you can thank me later. I will be taking care of this sector as best I can. I actually don't know if I want these guys here with me, to be honest with you. So the I, so that's one of the K's. Oh, it's a four pack. Ah. Oh. So we got one I. 3Ks. Well, interesting. So this guy looks okay. like he is hot to take me out. And he is coming my way. We got another K here. Almost looks like three fleets, yes. Yeah, so he has a crown on him, so he's his own fleet with that guy. This fleet are these four. So, good. This guy is coming, and he is away from the pack, so I should be able to take care of him real quick, like. Oh, you're waiting for me. You're waiting for the other guys. You're not you're not approaching. Okay, let's see if we can't get him. Oh, you're coming in too. Okay, well, fine. Fine. More the merrier. This is gonna be interesting, guys. This is gonna be very super duper interesting. I mean, I have a pack. I have a pack of, like, nine other Asgards behind me. So, if I did this, if I really wanted to do this correctly and take these guys out, then I'd just have them all attack. Because this is no match for this. But, let's see. Let's see what we can do. Let's line it up. That should be close enough. And goodbye, sir. One down. You're next. Okay. Yeah, you are in range. I got too far in range here. Let's back her up a little, a little bit. Bye, sir. Pause. My goodness. Two down, two to go. So the Ks are really easy to take out with this weapon. I think the I will be a little bit harder, but that's okay. Noise. I'm feeling a little bit better about this, guys. A little bit better. Slightly better. Where are you going? Where are you going? There we go. Explosion imminent. 
Bye. Wouldn't want to be you. Aye. And you're in range too, sir. Well, almost. You're almost in range. Heated on that. That's okay. He's only going 86, so I'm going 29, so we should be able to. Should be able to resist, hopefully. And if I'm backing up. We should be able to back up far enough, fur enough, for our other guys to help us out. Actually, you know what? While I'm doing this, you guys, please attack. Or board. You can board as well. So he's going to start firing any time now. Very concerned. Oh. Oof. Awaiting orders. Booyah! Gotcha. Yes. All right. Whew, I was sweating there a little bit. Like he's coming in, and as soon as his stuff, as soon orders. as he starts shooting, we're gonna we're going down fast, but. As long as we can keep him at a distance. <sighs> All right, so we just have this one one more K over here to deal with. K. And we're golden. Then we could just start taking out the rest of the sector. Whew. All right. Breathe a little sigh of relief there. Um, you know what? Hold on. I I wanna take I want I want this stuff. Container. <laughs> I want this stuff, please. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that. Let's turn that off. Let's get in. I want I want this stuff. I wish it was a toggle for the tractor beams instead of just having to press O. Got some stuff okay. coming in here. Yeah, I want some other stuff. Oh, we just got some fighters coming in there. I'm liking this paint job. I kind of like it. I don't know, what do you guys think? It's better than that drabby red. If it was bright red, it'd be good too. Yeah, we still have some enhanced quality mod st uh, stuff coming in, which is great. Man, I wish it was a toggle for this thing. Just press an O there. It's close to your default paint job, Pharaoh. Yeah. If you guys see anybody, because uh, we're streaming on Twitter as well, if you guys see anybody chat from there, let me know. Because, again, I, I just don't know. <laughs> I just don't know if I'm getting them and I might miss them. But yeah, like, put your hand up. Go, hey, get some Twitter people here. Yeah, we're getting a lot of stuff here, which is super duper good. Yeah, 
cleaned it up quite nicely. Just got a few more things here. As I press all the wrong buttons. I think some of it despawned already. As you can see this. Container. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Good enough. Just wanted to make sure none of that stuff was... I'm not worried about that. Um, gone to waste. Okay. So let's take out... What do we want to take out first here? We want to take out the shipyard for... Oh, wait. That's right. We need to take out this K. Let's do... Let's go... Mm, uh, let's go around this way, I think. Just to take him out. Autopilot engaged. And then I want to make sure that I have no other big baddies coming in. Let's go ahead and also, while we're doing this, I was talking about this, these jaguars. Like, these things are super duper ugly. Look at it. I mean, it's it's kind of cool. Like, I, I see what they were kind of going for. But if we... Yeah, look, that, that thing on the top there just gets me. It, it looks... It looks wrong. <laughs> it looks wrong. Anyways, enough of that. But I do have them, so what I'm going to do with them, I think, is I'm going to put some satellites up. Because they have 50... I, when I made them, I, I gave them 50 advanced satellites. So let's go ahead and put one here. And try to put one here. And yeah, let's do that for now. Maybe put one here as well. I'm kind of curious what this is, but we can find that out in a little bit. Just put one here, I guess. There we go. Okay, and are you doing? Yeah, you're doing the thing. Okay. Yeah, Feral, the, the split designs, I like them, like a lot of it, but it can go very wrong. <laughs> some, of, some of the split are very, very cool, and then some of them are just very, Autopilot. very not so cool. Disengage. Autopilot. Engaged. Like, I'm, I'm mixed on it. Like, I think... Like, I don't like... The, the Terran are nice. The Terran designs are nice, but a little bit too Terran... They're kind of like, the Terran designs remind me of what they thought the future would be in the 40s. That's what the Terran, that's what the Terran designs look like. What, uh, Pharaoh, what are, what, what, what designs do you like? What factions? Like, do you like the Argon? Do you like the Terran? What else is there? Paranid, Split, Talati. Not really sure which one's my favorite, to be honest. Okay, so once we get past here, we can just come down. I hope, just stay, stay there, sir. He looks like he's on patrol, but I hopefully he doesn't come back here. I should have just stayed here and just waited for him. But let's get try to get there quick enough. Yeah, it looks like he's turning around that way. And he's going to come back up, maybe. And then once he's out... Then we can just go ham on this. You like some of the Terran stuff? You the X two X three designs? Yeah. Again, um, I'm ha I'm gonna have to say I I haven't really played any of those, but one of these days I'm gonna go back and play at least maybe X three.
When, um, I haven't checked, but when is the Timelines expansion coming out? Does anybody, have they have they mentioned yet? I know it's like, quote unquote, soon, but, like, have they leaked anything? I, I watch, Disengaged. I watch, Okay. the only other person, the only other one I watch at the moment is Captain Collins, and I haven't heard anything in there. He hasn't really talked about it at all that I know of that I caught. Um, but, oops, hello. <laughs> but yeah, I'm kind of curious when the timeline expansion is coming up. Also, I'm very, very curious on, on if they're working on X5. I think I heard something about that. Wasn't one of the devs doing a stream or something like that? And he accidentally revealed his desktop and there was an X5 folder <laughs> or something like that. That's very, very interesting. I'd love to see what X5 would like, what they're thinking about. Like how the gameplay is going to be. Yeah, I think I really like I'm I'm kind of with you there like the the parented ships are are I think I think look the best to me. As far as looks, I don't think they perform at the best, but I think they look I definitely think they have something going on with the looks there that I I, I really kind of like. That should be close enough. He's probably got my... I probably got his, his attention. Uh, which way are you going, buddy? Hmm, I see. You're turning... Either turning to see me or not. Oh, hold on. Oh, we got our satellite. Our guy coming in with the satellites. Good. Wanted to look at that. All right, sir. He's moving. I don't want him to just get a warning shot over his bow. Imminent. Goodbye, sir. All right, time to turn to the, especially this station. And I'm going to do, I'm going to start taking it out and then I'll have my guys take it out, take out the rest of it. And then once this station is down, then we'll go and do the defense platform, I guess. Xenon Shipyard. Um, it's a solar power plant. Okay. doing sir you trying to provoke me yeah okay ah uh, the Talati Kestrel yeah yeah, again, I'm, I'm going to try to, I'm, I, I really, what did I see? What did I see here? What are you, why are you lagging? Yeah, I'm going to have to, like, look into 
I'm gonna have to look into trying to play some X3. I think. I'm not really sure. Can you get X2 on Steam anymore? I, th I know X3 is still there. It's like, check that out. Dinon Shipyard is already down to 26%, which is strange, right? I wonder what happened. Why is it down to like 20, 26%? Hold on. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, it looks fine. It's not big. It's just two docks. A couple uh, liquid. It looks like liquid storage. Which is strange. Why would it be liquid? Why wouldn't it be container at a at a dock? Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Jeez. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be container? Or maybe I'm just not reading it right. I don't know. Who knows? But there's not a lot to it, so it'll be. It should be easy enough to take out. I think. As I press the wrong button. All right, so you know I should have thought of this before, but I kind of like going at stations from the top or the bottom because then you can see the whole thing. But it should be good. Let's see what we got here. So you're in range, but not in range of my uh, medium weapons, I guess. Gonna be 7.9. Engaging. Yeah, don't, 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 don't say you're engaging when you're not, sir. So that one's a little bit closer. A little bit closer. I'm trying to get like what's closest to me here. Yeah, I think these ones. That graviton turret. Definitely want to take that one out. So as soon as I'm in 7.9, we should be able to take that out. Or not. I thought. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Well, maybe it's 6.9. I don't know. And... See ya. Nope. Wow. That's interesting. Okay. Let's take a pot shot at it. Just like so. A little bit more. There we go. Did that even hit? I don't know. There's nothing this side, huh? Wow. Interesting. Explosion imminent. That's better. What did I take out? Oh, looks like I took out that. Okay, so I'm facing... Huh, okay. Interesting. Alright, so let's go ahead and see if we can't take that the main section. And we should be good to shoot. Oh, the hull. I was looking at derp. I had a, a derp moment, guys. Sorry. I was looking at the unlocked information. It's the hull that I was... I was. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, whatever. Okay, you know what I think I'm going to do? Let's just take this out because this is going to go too slow. If I do it this way. 
So I'm going to do my other strategy. Oh, Xenon Storage is universal. I see. That makes sense. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this. Let's go to my office. Entering system. Grand exchange. And then have a little fleet command party. And then use SATA. So it'll take him out a little bit quicker. Oops, where are you guys? Where'd you go? There you are. Okay, you coordinate attack. And everybody should come in and hit them. Now we can do the SATA. And that should be fast enough for them to come in and do it. So with this, they all come in and come into their spaces and then you see a little hourglass thing going on here i noticed and then once everybody has the hourglass they're in their position then they actually start just pounding it but it's a horrible solution if you have a lot of if you have a lot of like k's or i's in the area then this is just gonna get you slaughtered so you're in position. What are you fleeing for? What are you? What are you? Where are you going? What are you doing, sir? Oh, I forgot to change that one. Fine. These must be the two new ones that I built just recently, and I forgot to update the orders. Yep. So if they use judgment, I mean, like, I think what happens when they use judgment is that the fact that um, <clears throat> they have such such an overwhelming force that they'll they'll stay they'll stay and fight. I think that's it. Can I override your order, sir? Override that. There we go. Sync point Asgard. Okay. That should work. All right, come on, guys. Don't let me down. Yeah, they should be. They should be hitting it now. Should be going down here fairly soon. 85, 84. 82, 85. Yeah, so it's really fairly quick after they start going, which is nice. Yep, there they go. And again, I'm in, you know, SATA, so that's another thing. How fast is SATA? like progress time like is it like two times three times four times i think it was i think i heard it like six times six times faster not 100 percent sure oh, look at all these goodies look at all the goodies but this is the stuff that they had in their storage so i really don't want to put i don't want to put that on my On my ships. Two percent, one percent, zero percent, and no percent. Very nice. Okay, next guys. We want to get this one, and then once this one is done, we will fly in and start hitting this Xenon defense platform. And that should be it for this 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 sector, I think. Pretty sure that's all you guys got in here. Unless I'm missing something on the out. Oh, that's right. We have this. We'll have to figure out what that is as well. Yeah, but 
they should get in position very quickly and take it out. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, Seda goes up to 10 times. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I have... It's it faster doing it with all these guys. Yeah. Um, oh, they took out one of my guys. Who took it out? Oh, I didn't even see that happen. Did he get too close? What happened there? I'm gonna have to when I rewatch the video. I'm gonna have to figure that out. That's not good. Although that's fine as long as I don't lose my main my main guy here. Um, yeah, it is kind of faster with this. Although they're taking their own sweet time doing this guy. Yeah, what happened to that one? Were you guys watching? I wasn't even watching it. Oh, did I just do attack? Guys, I, no, no, I wanted you to coordinate attack. What is going on? I'm going to lose this guy too? Alright, I think I'm going to have to go back in sector after I... Ugh. He got into, they're getting in too close again. So, yeah, so I think what my strategy is going to be, especially for that defense platform, I think what my strategy is going to be after we take this solar power plant out is that there's an energy trader here? What are you doing? <laughs> Trying to get energy from the Xenon? Anyways, what my strategy is going to be is, is what I did before. Uh, we have some uh, we have some Z's coming in here as well, or K's I should say. Yeah, that sucks. I lost that guy. I'm gonna have to send this guy in for repairs. Man. Yeah, so what I'm going to have to do... Uh, hello, sir. What are you doing? Oh, dear. Okay. Guys, can we take care of him, please? Thank you. All right, so the strategy is I'm going to jump into the sector. Orders. I'm going to try to take out most of the turrets and then have them sweep it up. Um, in the meantime, let's send this guy off for repairs although it does look like he is repairing quite nicely i don't know if there's some unrepair unrepairable things on here well, let's look at the loadouts it looks like everything is still working so they just need structural repair if i'm not mistaken so they should be okay we do have we should have repair drones on here. Yeah, repair drones. We have 10. Active 10. So they're repairing. Oh, look at you guys. Trying to rebuild, like, real quick, like. Let's pause for a second here. Let's just take. Let's just take. Uh, stock of what we got. What's going on here? All right. So I lost that one. So let's go ahead and if I lose one, I build two. So we're going to build two more. I was going to try to do dumb fire missiles, but that didn't really work out. I couldn't find enough for the, like there was, it needed like 3000, 3,500 dumb fire missiles and I couldn't make them fast enough. So it was just taking forever, but we're going to go with our standard here because it's, it's working fairly well. But let's add that and let's make two of them. You know what? We have enough for two. Let's make no yeah, three. We have enough for three. Let's confirm that. Have them make it. And yeah. So eventually the systems will come back. 
Yeah, I didn't know that. I thought once the systems were out, you had to go and repair them. I knew they repaired the halls, but I didn't know about the systems. Good to know. Thank you, Fair. Good to know. All right, so there will take 19 minutes. Okay, so we should be good. I'm going to jump back into Sector and start taking out entering system the defense platform here and then once the defense, defense platform is taken out we'll try to take out or we'll go ahead and take out that factory that you're trying to build they're probably doing another solar power plant family zim but yeah so this is going to be my my strategy is i'm going to try to come in take out most of the Hello there. As many as I can of the turrets, and then have you know, go out of teleport out of system, and have them take care of the rest of it. Good strategy. <laughs> Xenon defense platform. I think so. With that said, you know what? I don't want them. While I'm taking out the turrets, I don't want them to get overzealous. So what I'm going to do is have them instead of def instead of attack but have them defend so we'll put them squad. we'll put them on delta defense Xenon spotted. that's all right there's nothing nothing big coming in guys you're fine oh looks like we have some Zyrath coming to help us out nice While they're taking care of the little defenders here, let's go and start taking out this uh, defense platform. That music, though, gets me every time. <laughs> Is there any other, like, Music, I forget. I like that's the default one for every time you're in a fight, right? Like no matter who it is, like Xenon or anybody else. Now I can't remember. I've been I've been battling the Xenon for the last like three episodes or three live streams, so I can't remember. If when battling anybody else, then uh, there's a different music. Oops. Let's not get in too close, guys. And here comes the music again. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> All right. Let's see how fat or how close the turrets are. It's thirteen point six. Looks like it is fairly close to us. It is 12 or so. We need to get into about 7. But in the meantime, I think we're close enough for our big guns. So let's go ahead and take a pot shot at it. There we go. Beauty. Actually, I can probably hit a little bit, for, a little bit more than that. There we go. Okay, now we're now we're we're, we're spent. I want to do the ones over here, guys. Actually, those are fairly easy to get as well. I hate having to cycle through all of them. There's so many of them. There we go. Okay. So these are the ones on this side of the station. So 11.4, 10, 10, 9. That's closer. Okay. Let's just get in a little bit closer. Then we should be able to start taking them out.
Hey, Ira Lee, how you doing? Nice to see ya. Is the default combat music feral? Yeah. What has been going on, Ira? You've been playing for so long, it's all blended together. Yeah, and that's what I'm trying to, like, in my head too, Farrell. I'm like, I'm like, it's, I can't remember. Like, it's just like, it either blended into a different song, and I'm just thinking it's the same thing, or, or there's a different one, and I don't know, and uh, yeah, it's all blending for me as well. Okay, I think we should be close enough now. 6.5. If we get any closer, they'll start firing at us. And that's just something you don't want. So let's take two. There's one. Again, I'm trying to get that achievement as well, so. And I think I should be able to get it with this station. Uh, it's only like maybe 10 or so away. Uh, how's my main gun? Uh, we got another pot shot to go, do we? Don't we? Let's try to start taking out this. Oop, there's the achievement. Can't shoot this. I got the can't shoot this achievement. I don't know if you guys heard that or not. Okay, I did too much. Well, that's all right. Ooh, that one must be behind something a little bit. That's okay. Love it when I get an achievement. I think I'm up to like 50% of the achievements now. Not 100% sure. Is there a way, like once you take out the turret, see what happens? Is it is it deselects the whole, and it doesn't select the next one, or it doesn't select the station? Like I would, I would want it to either select the next turret, or I'd want it to select the main, the main station. But right now, once I take out the turret, see I did that. There's nothing in my, there's nothing, there's no targets. So then I have to click on the station again, and then do the sub 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 targets I wish there was a way to once you took out one of the sub targets to do the next sub target or to target the station again it'd be nice why am I not hitting that it says I have line of sight It's kind of kind of taking it out. One more volley. Nice. There we go. I think we got everything we can from this angle. Are they trying to mine out there? Oh no, that's one of my uh, my ships trying to take out the miner, I think. That is one of the positron turrets. There we go, nice. Yeah, I find the positron turrets on these, they're like, there's a cluster of four of them. So usually, oops, hey, 
So usually there's there's more than one in a little area there. All right, I think that's it from this angle. Wait, what? Oh, they're there. Ah, no, nope, we got a few more on the body here. And that's a shield, so that should be really easy to take up. Why? Wait, that was white. Oh, maybe not. Okay, I'm going to have to do a different angle here, I think. Yep, I think we cycled through all of them. All of them are out of my line of sight. Nope, nope. Nope, there's one. Lined up in the middle there. there we go. Like that. No, that's out of my line of sight. Oops. Imminent. There's a bit gone. I'm not gonna be that's out of the out of the out of my range, and that explosion took it out anyways. And it looks like we have a few of our other fleet coming in here. Right behind us. Yeah, guys, do not get too close, please. All right, let's take out this bit, I think, let's, with our main gun. There we go. All right, I'm going to try to get up and above it so I can get a little bit better angle from some of the other turrets here. But it's going to take quite some time. Let's take another pot shot at this little part here. Nice. Is there... No. No more eyes or caves coming in. Good. All right, I think at this point I've taken out enough turrets that... Ooh, someone's hitting their big guns. Nice. But what did you hit? I think you missed the station, buddy. That's really not... That's really not awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt it. Let's go out because this music is actually getting to me now. Run away! Run away from the music. System. Grand exchange. So I don't know, Ecosoft. Like, if you guys are listening, like when you're in a battle for that long, can you like put another song on? Like, it's okay for a little while, but holy cow, it gets on my... It, it's just like... It's a lot. <laughs> it is a lot. I feel... I feel, like, better now. Alright, you guys, just go and attack it. You're close enough, aren't you? Wait, why is there... Why are there lines going from that... How are my other Asgard's going here? We got no, four more minutes on that one. So four more, more minutes, we'll have another Asgard. Every time I say Asgard, I think of... I think of uh, Stargate SG-1. <laughs> and I'm always thinking of uh, Thor. He's going to be... He's going to be coming around a the corner there. Uh, my comments are really, like, I have to refresh them. I'm going to have to get a new comment 
or a new chat thing here. But uh, haven't been up to much, Ira. I'm still addicted to X4. Yeah. Definitely playing a lot of it. I have, I think I have, uh, Ira, I think I have about 740 hours in it now. Awaiting orders. Which I think in the, in the greater scheme of things with other people playing it, I, I've heard of other people having like thousands of hours in it. But uh, 740 is quite a lot for me. So I find that's an achievement. <laughs> Yeah, so I now I kind of miss the music actually. It's kind of it's kind of peaceful and quiet. Do I have Sadon? I don't have Sadon. Let's go have them take this out. I think since they're building this one, it probably won't have too many. Uh, it probably won't have too many turrets on it just quite yet. So we should be safe enough. And I think this should turn white here pretty soon because I think we've taken out everything in here that has. Uh, like a Xenon station after this one, it should turn white like it should be like a uncontested sector. Uh, by the way, guys, I, I'm sorry if I missed some of the comments. I'm trying to keep up. I'm trying to catch up on them now. But my, my thing has been, uh, again, my comment thing has been, I don't know what to do with this comment thing, this chat thing, I should say. I hate missing chats. <laughs> SG1 was a great uh, I miss it I, I miss I, I think I've watched SG1 Ira all the way through at least three times now the whole series so yeah why am I not getting a read out here I can usually see That's weird. That's a, that's a glitch. I'm not seeing uh, the the stats on the station, but it should should. It looks like the the Zyrath are helping out as well. Nice. Seven hundred hours enough for a good taste of the game. <laughs> exactly, exactly, Pharaoh. Exactly. That's it's it's just I'm just getting into it. <laughs> I'm just. Just, just a little taste of the game. Is it my imagination, or is this station not, not depleting at all? I'm seeing that green line. That green line looks like it's still the same. I may need to go into the. I may need to go into the, uh, into the sector and, and take it out. But it looks like I have a lot of help. I'm very happy that I have help. You guys are starting to flood in the Zy Zyrath are starting to flood into the sector, which is noise. Uh, which reminds me, how's that Terran ship going down here? That Terran ship has been taken out, and this is an issue in this sector again. But they haven't built anything. Like, I don't see the red outline, so they're not in here building anything. They're just kind of in here trying to flood it. Ooh, look at this. That is meaty. <laughs> oh, my. Oh my, that is something fun to take out in the future. Okay, so they took it out. Good, good, good. Okay, good, good. Good, good, good. Let's press pause. Let's take a second. Let's see what's going on here. Ira, I have read the sci-fi book. Uh, what was it? Um, the Human Chronicles. I forget who it's by. But I've read the Human Chronicles, and that that series. Oh my God, really, guys? That series. Was. 
was really good. And I think they're still writing it. Like, there's... In that series, there's like 40 or 50 books in that series. And it's just... It's super. But the, but the synopsis of that series is that humans in the galaxy are rare in the sense that we're top predators. So usually in sci-fi, right, humans... Like you could say like an alien, like in movies, like alien, things like that, that we're very much um, weaker than most than most aliens. But in this, we're the top predators. But what we don't have is the technology. So that's kind of like what what is going on with that. Look at that just popped up here. Guys, stop doing that. Xenon are just. What are you guys trying to do? Anyways, so that's the, the basic just to those and it's really it's really kind of interesting so that's the last sci-fi books I was reading there <laughs> well yeah, the Human Chronicles, uh, 30, yeah, it is, ooh, hello, I'm just chit-chatting away here, and we have a fleet of juiciness coming through this sector, but it looks like they're just passing through, okay, so this is the last station in here that I think, oh my god, other than this station that we need to take care of, cool, okay, so, Let's pause. I'm gonna jump back in here and then see what that other that last station is. Yeah, I've read um, most of the Human Chronicles. I still haven't gone and read the whole series down. yet, and. But yeah, if you want to get lost in like a, a whole series and it's it's really good. I think it gets kind of slow in parts, but yeah, it's 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 fairly it's really good. It's really really pretty good. I suggest that I rec I recommend it. I recommend it. There was another one I I was reading another series that a very long series by B V Larson. Hello. And I forget exactly what it's called, but it was very, very good as well. And another very, very long one. Unknown station. But that one was the BV Larson one. Was the basic synopsis of it was that in the galaxy. There is a there's a technology war between nanotechnology and macro technology. And that's all I'll give away with that. That is incredibly like it's it's kind of and that's a hard sci-fi. So, like, with a Human Chronicles is more of a soft sci-fi. In other words, it's not scientifically, like, it, it takes liberties. The B.V. Larson one, uh, it is, it's, it's, a, it's a hard sci-fi, more in line with... I mean, it's still sci-fi, so it takes liberties. But it's more in line with The Expanse, I would say. You read, read a few, uh, fairly read a few ones that were like space orcs. <laughs> yeah. And just never considered a bad. Yeah, and that's the whole thing. Like, 
um, with the Human Chronicles is that we come from Earth, which is a high gravity. And but on most high gravity, on most high gravity species are dumb. But in this, in the Human Chronicles, we're not we're not dumb. We're we're still very smart, even though we come from a high gravity world. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, we are a flood, flood species, but it's either sci-fi makes us very flawed and very horrible, or it makes us, in the future, it makes us, like, we overcome that. Uh, this is another defense platform, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, it even has a little defense thing there. I, Ira, I have, um, I have not listened to an audiobook yet. I hate to say it. I've, I think I have, um, wanted to, like, get a subscription to Audacity, I think it is. I think Amazon now has it. But I haven't, I haven't done any, oh, I take that back. There was one audiobook that I did. But this was a long, long, long time ago. Before audiobooks were really a, a big thing. But, uh... But, yeah, I, uh... I forget what the, the name of it is, but just the one audiobook. I think the reason I don't do audiobooks is because I need to be visually stimulated too. So if I'm just listening to something and I'm not like looking at it, I'm trying to get close to this. I'm trying to pay attention to this and get close, but not too close. But and this is how I like to approach stations are is from the bottom or the top. So now we can actually see the whole outline of the station. Anyway, so with the with the thing with audiobooks is or anything audio listening to it is the fact that my mind starts to wander and I stop listening to the book or I stop listening to it. So that happens when, say, for example, I'm listening to a podcast and I'm out for a walk or a run. I will be distracted with anything else in my environment and then I'll be like, oh, I missed the whole thing. <laughs> okay, so let's. I'm going to try to take out the middle. And then we'll start taking out um, the turrets and things like that. So let's get a little bit closer. And I'm close enough for the big gun. So let's take out the start taking out the middle. All right, I didn't want to redline that, but I did. Oops. Okay, so let's look what the turret situation, excuse me, the turret situation is. So we're semi-close, almost in range. All right, now we're in range, slow down at about seven or 6.9, noise. Um, and that should be close enough. It always, I always forget that my plasma turrets have a huge range on them as well. <laughs> All right, let's start taking out some of these turrets. Okay. 
Get a little bit closer. Shield generator. That'd be nice to take out. Defense drone. Nope. Xenon defense platform. Very nice. I was defense watching. Drone. I was watching um, Captain Collins, and he was taking out stations like real quick with dumb fire missiles and that's kind of why I was wanting to equip one of these guys with dumb fire but I think he has if I'm not mistaken he has a an extension on that replenishes missiles or and and whatnot drone. automatically platform. so it's not going to work for me <laughs> is what I'm saying but he was taking them out like really quick uh, but they weren't Xenon stations, so that was another thing. Like Xenon stations, as you were talking about, Feral, the Xenon stations, um, they're very tough to take out anyway, so not sure if that same strategy would work with them. Um, favorite authors, sci-fi authors, now that you mention it, um, the, the author that got me into sci-fi in the first place, well, I think I, I think I, I think I like sci-fi even, even before this author, but the one that I remember the most is Isaac Asimov. I mean, the guy knows how to, knew how to write and was just... Absolutely. The Foundation series is definitely my favorite series by far. Definitely my favorite series by far. Infinite Missiles mod? Yeah, he is. And which, you know, I, I was tempted, Pharaoh, I was tempted to... Um, use that mod, like install that mod and use it on here. But I'm I'm playing I'm playing vanilla. I'm playing clean on this playthrough, so I didn't want to corrupt that. But I was thinking to myself, man, it would be nice. <laughs> it would be nice if I had that mod. Yeah, Ira, that that is true. Like when I'm into it, I can I could probably listen to a uh, I could probably listen to a uh, audiobook. And you being a truck driver, that's true as well. So that audiobook that I was talking about that I did listen to back in the day uh, is very loud. There we go. Um, let's let's have it take these defense drones out because it's getting very loud. But um, I was going to say, like, the, the audiobook that... that I listened to... was when I was driving a lot, and that's when I... that's when I was... Um, that's when I... I was paying attention to it. Um, unfortunately, I don't drive anymore because uh, my vision's so bad. So I can't drive. You don't want you don't want me on the on the road. <laughs> so I won't be driving anymore. So, but that is a good time to listen to it. I do travel on tr on the train a lot. So maybe maybe I'm I'll, I'll buy one and, and do that when I'm traveling there. Okay. Xenon defense platform. I wish it was a way to. And there might be, now that I'm thinking about it. I wish there was a way to turn down the turret volume. Yeah, 
looking for something to shoot. There's one. Oh, do I have? Yeah. Recharged. Let's try to take out this middle bit. There we go. And I should have enough left over, a little bit left over for this bit. Okay. There's just a ton of defense drones out here. I forget how many there should <laughs> there can be. Well, I mean, there's not that many. I should do a screenshot. That was pretty cool. There you go, one more down, another one down. Okay, now I think we're good. So YouTube has a lot of uh, audiobooks. I'm gonna have to look into that. At the moment, the only time I listen to just audio things is I go out for runs or walks or stuff, stuff like that. And uh, yeah. All right, just a few more of these, I think, and then. I'm going to try to take out maybe some of these edge bits, like this one here, with the main turret, or the main gun. And then we're going to go out of, uh, out of the system here. I keep on hitting the wrong button, I don't know why. My mind is just mush at the moment. <laughs> There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Right, going back in the center here. We're on the other side. Eh, overshot. B.V. Larson is strange. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, like, much about him, but I, I forget uh, I forget the name of the series again. It was, uh, but it was an interesting series, definitely. Ah, I think all the defense drones are down. Good. That's a big gun out of the way. Another big gun out of the way. Nice. Does it not have any more? Is that it? Oh no, it's just down here. Yeah, that's it. There's no subsystems. I'm trying to target the subsystems, so that's it. Okay. Now we can uh, just go out of the system and we can have our guys take care of it. What is the situation here? We have a builder in here. Are you guys going to build something in here? That'd be nice. Who owns it? Zarath. Cool. I think he's coming from the Western front, <laughs> but nice. I like that they're coming in and helping out. That's another cool thing about this game is like, like, the AI kind of sucks, but sometimes, like, because it's such a wide or such a big simulation, like, they actually come in and help. 
Like a lot of a lot of games, I don't think that that really happens. I don't know if I'm explaining that right, but oh, it's a support ship. I see. Oh yeah, you're right. It doesn't have the X in the middle. Oopsie. <laughs> okay, so let's get out of this system because I'm done with this music again. Uh, teleport. Entering system. Ooh. Grand exchange. I think I'm. I think I may just turn down the volume when I'm in system again. Because I think that was stressing me out to the point where I wasn't paying attention to what I should be paying attention to. Oddly enough. Okay. All right, all y'all. Take care of it. Do the thing. Do the thing. What do we got going on there? Ooh, an eye. Oh, I may have to go back into the system if he's going to come anywhere close to my guys. All right, turn on the SATA. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. Hopefully I don't lose anybody. Yeah, he's still down to 87%, so they haven't... I should really put them... Go and make them uh, repair. Although my other three Asgard are done, so let's have you guys... Well, I'll have you guys join in after they take out the station. Because I don't know how they're going to respond. Yeah, there's some bug. I, there's some bug, like, for some reason it's not it's not registering correctly, I think. Like some of the stats on these stations that I'm taking out. I may have to restart. How are you guys doing? What's your status? What be your status? Yeah, they should be firing at it now. Everybody should be taking it out. Yeah, okay, now it's working. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Maybe I was just... I was, <laughs> maybe I was just being a little impatient. The Human Chronicles, yeah. Um, maybe... Oh, is that Beefy Larson? I'm thinking of somebody else, maybe. Sorry, guys. There's a Human Chronicles. Uh, I'm going to have to look it up. They just built another defense platform, but that one is just being built, so... We'll have to go over and teach them a lesson for doing that. There we go. So they took it all out. You go over and take out this one. Where'd that eye go? Is that eye still chilling out over here? Yeah, we're gonna have to take out him as well. I think I'm just gonna have them take him out. Oh, there is a whole boatload. This is the one we saw earlier, isn't it? Oh, there's another one joining the party. Okay, we're going to have to go down and take care of them in system after they hit the station, I think. Are you guys, you guys doing it? Doing the thing? I think they're getting a little pissed at us, is what it is, the, the Xenon. They're getting, they're getting a little mad at us taking out their stations in this sector. Yeah, and we're white, so... Nice. So we took this from them. Nice. Oh, I like it. Guys, get in position. Take that station out, please. We have something to take out down here. Although, who is the Terrans are are trying to trying to take them out with little fighters, but they're not going to do anything. But once the Terran, once they get done, once the Terran, once they get done with the Terrans, they're going to turn to us, I think. Hello. Let's just do this. Attack it, please. Everybody attack it. Just everybody go and attack it. Attack, please. There we go. Maybe that'll be better. 
There we go. Ah, that's, that's easy. Orders. That's better. Okay. Oh, they're going away. Oh, they're going to go harass the, uh, the Zyrath over here. All right, guys. My goodness. What a ride. What an absolute ride. What, an, what a ride. I'm going to... Oof. What a ride. Okay. So let's teleport over. System. Thank you for coming by, Ira. Yeah, I'm definitely a fellow nerd. I'm, I'm a reader. I'm a... I read sci-fi and, and just love everything about it. Everything about it. I read it, watch it, play it. True nerd. Hello there. Oh, thank you, Ira. I appreciate that. That's very kind of you. Be safe driving out there. Be very, very safe, safe driving. Okay, we have made our goals. We did our goals. Here's a builder. Talati, Talati. Of course, they are the. Um, they they are the Frange of the uh, of the system. <laughs> All right. I am just darn curious. I think I want to go in here, but all right, I think I'm gonna do that. We're gonna go and poke our head in here. Jump Let's see what's going on. Unknown sector. Yeah, Ira, thank you for coming by. Appreciate it. I will be here every Saturday if you're still here, by the way. Travel drive. We have we have kicked the xenon out of this out of their stronghold over here. And hopefully that helps with both like I have this these guys over here. I think what I'm gonna have these guys do instead of covering this one. I think now it's safe enough that we can cover this one. Although I'm very concerned about that big flotilla that just came through there. So what I think we're going to do with them though is we're going to reassign them. Um, what am I looking at here? No, what's going on? I just want you to all right, we're gonna have to go into the information here. For some reason, this isn't working as intended. I want to reassign you guys, but let's just do it this way then. Area, area, I can talk. Area to protect, we're gonna protect this area here. And confirm, so now you guys do your thing. What's going on here? Take you out, sir. Okay. So the whole flotilla must either they're coming back or he just hasn't caught up with them. Let's just take this guy out real quick. Either way, he's caught in our web, <laughs> he is caught in our targets. I'm coming. I'm coming to help. I'll be there in a minute. No good. Get ready to be to be not anymore. Noise. <laughs> All right, you guys can clean up the rest. I take it.
Nice. I helped you out, taking the big guy out. Now Jump I gate. have Unknown other things sector. to do. Yeah, I'm gonna poke my eyes in here. See what's going on. I don't even know. I haven't, you know, in all my other playthroughs, I don't think I've ever explored any of this. I probably, I may have, but I don't know if I've gone and explored most of these sectors that we're in at the moment. Apparently, we're going to have to take care of these. It shouldn't take too long. There's that one little fighter up there, and this one medium here. As soon as we take this guy out, we'll put our travel drive in and go on into the gates. Hopefully. Yep, there we go. Okay. There. Nice. You okay there, Mr. Zyreth flight fighter? You wanna join my my uh, my little flotilla? No, my headquarters is in uh, is in uh, Grand Exchange. I didn't want it in Heretic End. Oops. Yeah, I didn't. I did. I definitely didn't want it in Heretic Sense. Entering system. Wretched skies. Oh, look at that. Okay. Okay. So this isn't what what I want to do just quite yet. So I'm gonna have to explore a little bit more here. I think. But yeah, so I didn't know the Xenon were that entrenched, to be honest with you. Yeah, my headquarters is in Grand Exchange. I specifically didn't want it in, in Heretic's End and it's because I'm not really I like I like the I like the Boron, but they're not I don't know. I just, when it's in Heretic, Heretic's End, I feel that it's out of the way, you know? So when I started this custom start, I put it in, uh, I put it in um, Grand Exchange. Because that, that, that's like right in the middle of everything. <laughs> it just feels nicer that way. Yeah, my headquarters down here. Why do they build all the way out this way? I wonder. It's really weird. Entering system. Family Zin. All right. I think that is a good place to end the stream. I appreciate Awaiting everybody. Orders. I appreciate everybody coming and watching, Farrell and Ira and everybody else. And yeah, I will see everybody very, very Awaiting soon. Orders. By the way, um, if you haven't liked the the stream, please give it a like. It really does help out. And if you want to be notified when there's more, I will be. Look at this flotilla, by the way. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. I'm so proud of y'all. <laughs> And if you want to be notified when there's more, please hit that subscribe button. And I do this every Saturday at the same bat time, same bat channel. So I will see everybody then. And bye for now, guys.